Say it. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay, trabajo. Yeah. Trabajo, trabajo. This is how they mix the cement in the Philippines, baby. Yeah. Therefore, and the shovel. And they'll work their way through this pile together, alternating shovels, which is pretty good. It's a little sloppy. You can't tell them that. It would be too sloppy to do uh, a foundation up north, but considering that the temperature here never changes more than 10 degrees, this mix will be sufficient. And it's uh, two and a half inches thick when the finished product, we're gonna go over there now. Notice the, uh, the boots, the boots, they both have the same boots, the matching boots they have. But Cochran, Bacacon. Now, as soon as Jason is done with this, he's going to do Matalo, yeah? I will get you a pillow. Jason? Yeah. Yeah, pillow? Nice yeah. pillow? Okay. And Ray, Ray will bring all, Ray will, if you want a Matalo now, go ahead, it's okay, Ray will finish. Kasaput? Kasaput, Jason? Yeah, that's the book. And now they have they have it pre-mixed. They have a certain amount of bags of sand. Naturally, they add cement to that. And they also have this three-quarter inch stone right here. And if they want to make uh, mortar for the stucco, they use this screen here, which is about one eighth by one quarter inch mesh. And they use this for the substrate. It's crushed coral, same everywhere. Packs down nice with a little water. And here is the uh, here is the foundation. It's a block wall filled solid with uh, a number two bar through every every two feet. Number two bar or number three bar. And uh, depends on what they have that day. Now that fellow over there with the pink sandals, he's the boss. And you can tell he's the boss because he has the pink sandals on. Uh, the co trabajo. Okay, we're going to go over here, show you what the boss looks like. It's, that's Sir Dennis. Sir Dennis. Man hop on? Man hop on. Man hop on. <laughs> and this, this is the real boss, Sir Ronald. Yeah. But the pink, the pink, uh, the pink boots that Mr. <laughs> Dennis has on, that means that um, he's second in command. It has nothing to do with anything else other than that. And what they're doing is they're floating the concrete. And uh, they did a, actually did quite a nice job here. They run a string. They run a string across every three three feet. They did this in like four four mixes. And this is uh, this is the string right here. It's monofilum. And then the material is between two and two and a half inches. Some places a little less. But in the Philippines, this is more than enough because as I stated previously, there is no temperature differential here from summer to winter. It's always um, it is always 77 to 85 degrees so being that there's no temperature change they don't really need too much material and this is the material finished until until the boss comes over here and floats it yeah. and uh, actually they built this whole building in about two weeks for men it's a decode trabajo much work much work and it has a tin roof and that shiny material that you see up there is quarter-inch foam with aluminum foil on one side. And uh, it's a little thicker here, a little thinner over there. It doesn't really matter. I have that lumber that they took out for some forms and the scaffolding that they used to build the roof. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how they...
floating is floating, whether it's, uh, the mix is a little bit wet when they put it down, but like I said, there's no temperature change. And this is Rabbi Drew Bach, a break. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. We have school is out here in the Philippines. It's five o'clock. These kids crawl all over this jeepney like it was a sticky, uh, a fly sticky thing. And look at this. My hapon. My hapon. My buntag. Bakakun ka. They just jump on this thing. They they appear. And they disappear. And oh, look at Rabbi Drew Barker, baby. There you go, Rabbi Drew. That uh, these these guys. Look at them climb up while the while the machine while it's moving. They're climbing up like like as if they couldn't possibly fall off. Look at this. Okay, what we're going to be on YouTube, baby. YouTube. Okay, Solomon. Uh, okay, oh, oh, you two? Yes. Oh, oh. Okay, what is your name? Nice. And what? Huh? Your name? Overhead. His name is George? Name okay, is that's George. 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 Oh, yep, another one. We have another one. My hey. up on. My oh, up on. <laughs> I know you. Yeah. yeah. What's my name? Michael. My name? Ah, uh, you are from. From Bologna, I know. Danau, Danau. And you are from Danau, you are from the the uh, bar, the, no, 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 the bird watcher, no? No, 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 no? no, but you don't, you live there, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, brother, uh, Vivian. Yeah, you're you know not Vivian? Tony, not Tony. You know Vivian? Never with you? Vivian. Yeah? Um, I, it's been a while, I haven't been there in a long time. But you're, you're married, yeah? No, I'm thinking. Oh, right, okay. This is the guy that asked me if I would buy him a cell phone. Like a boong. <laughs> boong. Oh, the boong guy. Bula bula. Bula bula. He, he, asked, me to, he asked me to buy him a 25,000 peso cell phone. This guy. I remember him now. How are you? My phone. Hey, hey, hey. uh, look at this. We got enough hit. Okay. Look at this. We got lots of hands going on here. Find up on. Up on foot. Up on foot. Okay, now look at this. We got what? We got. We have guapa, guapo, guapo. No, bola. Ah, bola, bola. We have guapo, 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 guapo. Guapo, guapo, and I am Maot. Guapo, guapo, guapo. What are you laughing at? Bula laon. Bula, bula, bula. Like that. Bula, bula. Bula laon. The guy said I was crazy. Guapo, guapo, guapo.